بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم نحمده ونصلي على رسوله الكريم وقل جاء الحق وزهق الباطل ان الباطل كان زهوقا صدق الله العظيم time is short but in obedience to the order of my elders i would like to present very briefly and ask you to give your attention to the events which took place just under a year ago when in gaza absolutely revolting anti human actions took place when palestini brothers were treated in a way which cannot be described muslims boycotted tesco and those companies which were supporting the apartheid state of israel and then i saw an article somebody speaking on behalf of defending the state of israel they said that we are treated very badly by the free world we are ha- having to face every day missiles coming from gaza 3000 missiles drop on us and we take action very surgically and in a very humane way we drop leaflets and say that vacate your areas because we are going to attack but the world criticizes us when i read that i said what a way of twisting the facts there was no mention that the enclave of uno where people were protected bombs were dropped on it hospitals where there were children and sick people bombs were dropped on it but this manner of twisting the facts and the one who is inflicting injustice is claiming to be innocent where is this injustice coming from then i read mirza masrur's speech he is saying that the ulama and the mullahs are infl- inflicting injustice on us we are the innocent party i saw such parallel that whoever designed the speech of somebody protecting israel must have devised the speech of mr masrur this is the modern way that those who are inflicting injustice they prove themselves in their own twisted way of being the innocent and the victims we have to wake up and see how the world is operating today this injustice is taking place we cannot close our eyes to it so very briefly i would like to reflect your attention to the fact how the qadianis operate we believe that prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam is the person upon whom allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has cre- uh, completed his mercy and his his guidance to the mankind this is the unified united claim of all muslims our belief anybody who does not believe that without any conditions is not a muslim mirza masrur in an article he claims that we believe in khatm nabuwa he says that all muslims believe that prophethood has been completed upon prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam and we do so as well and hazrat said but their belief is in a different is is a twisted they twist everything because the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam when he called them the kazzabun the jalun kazzab is the one who is a liar and the jalun is the one who twists the facts who manipulates the facts in this manipulation the qadianis are saying they are the victims and they are the innocent party the truth is we have not casted them out of the umma they are the ones who casted themselves out of the umma the first caliph of of qadianis bashiruddin mahmud he says very clearly that muslims are outside the fold of islam Uh, the non qadianis are outside the fold of islam 
I will just like to present a couple of quotes from them to make it very clear to you, to you that it is not the Muslims who have casted the Qadianis out of the fold of Islam. It is their own beliefs which have casted them out of the fold of Islam. This is in Urdu, although I'm asked to speak in English, so I will try to translate. It is our duty, Yehmara Farsa, that the non Ahmadis should not be considered as Muslims. Ghair Ahmadiyon ko Musliman na samjhe, ye hamara farz hai ke ghair Ahmadiyon ko Musliman na samjhe kyunke wo ek nabi ke munkar hain. Astaghfirullah alazim. And Mirza Masroor says that we do not dispute the finality of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. If he is the final prophet then who is Mirza Qadiani? Mirza Qadiani himself declares very clearly what his status is. But uh, before I do that, this is from anwar e khilafat this Mirza uh, Bashiruddin Mahmood's statement that I just translated. In another translated, he says, because without any doubt, the non-Ahmadis are kafir. Therefore, their six-month-old child is also a kafir. Then how can it be that a six-month-old child, deceased child, can be buried in a, in, in, in a cemetery belonging to Qadianis. This is their declaration. Bishop, this was Bashiruddin Mahmood, the son of Mirza Qadiani. And Qadiani himself, he says very clearly, This is This is untrue that our dispute with the non-Ahmadis is only based on the life of Masih or a few issues. Our dispute is about God himself, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Mirza is saying that his dispute with the non-Ahmadis is about Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It is upon the apostlehood. It is about Quran. It is about Salah. In short, in every little detail, we are different from them. This is in Al Fazl. Qadianis have printed this one. It is documented in history. So, and also, as Hazar was saying, and all, some speakers have said before me, that he addresses the Muslims in such a way blaming us and, and mullahs to be cruel to them and unfair to them. He says, Jo hamari fata ka kail nahi, wo harami hai. Astaghfirullah alazim. Anybody who does not believe that the final victory is ours is a astaghfirullah bastard. This is what he's saying. This is the language of Qadianis. And he says, whoever does not see my works, my books, with love and affection, is an offspring of prostitutes. This is what Mirza Qadiani says. So my dear brothers, I would like to sum up that it is not the Muslims who have rejected Qadianis from the fold of Islam. It is their own beliefs. It is their own revolting beliefs, revolting language. It is their own revolting actions. They have casted themselves out and in these words I've presented before you, it is absolutely clear that the Qadiani Caliphs, they have separated themselves from the fold of Islam because they have made it very clear that if we are Muslims, they are not. If they are Muslims, we are not. Astaghfirullah alazim. However, billions of Muslims exist in this world. Nobody has the right to hijack our position of the followers of Muhammad Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa as the final messenger and the prophet, nobody has the right to steal that away from us. So may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala keep us Muslims, keep us on the belief that Muhammad Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa is the final prophet and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala keep us in his service. I finish on this. Jazakumullah khair.